In this video, you will learn how to insert a timeline and attach it to one or more pivot tables. So here you see this timeline, so which is created for years. So you click on 2018, the data changes in both the pivot tables. So if I click on 2019, see how data changes. So data changed. So 2018, if I change this year to quarters, and then click on quarter 1 in 2018, data in both the pivot tables changes. Q2 it changes, Q3 it changes. Now if I change it to months, so display months starting January 2018. So click on January, data in both the pivot tables changes. February it changes, March it changes. So let us learn how to create timelines. So this is my pivot table data. So I am going to click on any other cell. I'm going to insert, I'm going to create the pivot table and the new sheet and I'm going to create region and product as columns, revenue and values. So this is the pivot table. So now in the pivot table design, there is an insert slicer and insert timeline. So I'm going to click on insert timeline. There is only one date. Uh, this is invoice date. Click OK timeline is created so default is month so if i click on this one if i click on july and click on august the data changes remember data changes if i change months to years click on 2018 data changes 2019 data changes similarly if i change it to quarters q1 q2 q3 q4 now let us learn how to attach the same timeline to another pivot table. So let us create a second pivot table. So I'll click here, insert pivot table. So an existing sheet, I'll choose the location, same sheet. Okay. So this is product and region as column and revenue as values. So now if I click on Q1, if this or data only in this table changes, this doesn't change. See, but then we need to connect this pivot table to this. So click on this uh, timeline, click on timeline. There is a an icon report connections. Click on report connections. Check the second pivot table also, pivot table 5. Click OK. So now if I cl click on this, it will change the data in both the pivot tables. So Q1. Q4, see the data changes in both the pivot tables. If I change it to years, so 2018, 2019 data. If I change it to months, start from January 2018, the data changes. See, data changes. You can change it to days. So display all the dates. So if there is no. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this video. Please click on like button if you find the information I shared useful and update comments. Also, please subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos which I will post in future.